When an expert and a non-expert are looking at the same thing, they nevertheless do not see the same things. This is because while the visual input to the eyes may be the same, the way the brain interprets this information is different. Different background knowledge in the brain is being combined top-down with the bottom-up visual input. But actually, often experts and non-experts do not even look at the same thing. Optimizing your visual strategies is a big part of the skill sets of the racing driver. And textbooks also give exercises that are meant to teach how to look at and how to see the racetrack in the correct manner. Perhaps the three most common pieces of instruction are the following. One, look where you want to go. Two, look far ahead. Three, use peripheral vision. Let's look at each of them in turn. First, look where you want to go. This is actually more of a set of three interconnected ideas. Look where you want to go. Do not look where you don't want to go, because wherever you do look, that's where you will go. These rules reflect the tight coupling between eye-hand coordination or more precisely the control of gaze at the direction one is moving. Looking and going are coupled in the brain and the effect goes in both directions. Second, look far ahead and this means look really far ahead. It is widely accepted that to develop track driving skills you need to develop a habit of looking much further than you might automatically. The general thinking here is that when you are looking far ahead you are quote unquote giving your brain more time to assess and to respond to the situation. 3. Use peripheral vision. What racing drivers are taught is that they should try to take in everything in a kind of widescreen visual experience. This widescreen visual awareness is perhaps the most distinctive feature of the way racing drivers describe their use of vision and for various interesting reasons that have to do with how your brain processes visual information, probably quite different to how you were taught in driving school to scan the traffic scene. In everyday driving, you will scan the scene with many small, fast eye movements called saccades. And this is different from the focused thousand-yard stare of the racing driver. 